Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Seth Fred Olive, and it's time for another edition of Meme or Dream, the series where we take decklists that Wizards publishes over on Magic.gg, saying they got at least six wins in a row or more at Platinum Rank or Better on Best of Three in Magic Arena, and we put them to the test, and we try to find out. Are these decks actually as good as their published record suggests that they're a dream? Or are they a meme that somehow ended up lucking their way into six wins? So today we got a deck that is actually pretty spicy. This is a chaotic transformation deck. And uh, as you can see, it looks a little bit slow. Our curve is like super duper high. But the idea of this deck is we are all about resolving chaotic transformation. Chaotic transformation is kind of like a polymorph for each permanent type. You exile up to one artifact, creature, enchantment, planeswalker, and land. And then for each permanent that gets exiled, its controller reveals cards until it hits a permanent of that type, puts it on the battlefield. So the idea of chaotic transformation in this deck is the deck is trying to make chaotic transformation not chaotic at all. We're trying to control control what we hit with chaotic transformation so we know that when we resolve it we're going to be getting some really big bomby things so the goal is that when we blow up a creature we're always going to get a troxa when we blow up a artifact we're always going to get a portal to Frexia. so the way we do this is by playing no real creatures or no real artifacts in the deck instead we have cards like careful cultivation which we can channel to make a one one we have return from the wilds which can make a one one or a food token an artifact token stimulus package big score make artifact tokens so our hope is in the early game we cast some of these cards we ramp into chaotic transformation we cast chaotic transformation we get a truck so we get a portal and then if we need to we can invoke calamity to flash back the chaotic transformation and do it again and do it again and eventually we're gonna have all of our portals on the battlefield we're gonna be looping atroxes in outvaluing our opponent so definitely a super unique plan but it seems like it could be powerful there are a couple of concerns about this deck so one is this mana beast really scares me it's a five color mana base but it's playing 15 basic lands and i don't really see a reason for 15 basics there's some really harsh color requirements from like invoke calamity so we have a lot of red sources but i feel like like this is a super duper high number of basics especially since the only card in our main deck that cares about basic is return to the wilds my other concern for this deck is the sideboard and i know i should just be thankful that we have a sideboard it's kind of a meme or dream tradition that a lot of decks don't even have a sideboard at all this one has a sideboard and in the past i've said if you don't know what to put in your sideboard just like throw anything in there and it's going to be better than having no sideboard so we can't complain too much because uh there are cards in our sideboard which is a win for a meme or dream deck but the sideboard is very very strange like normally in the sideboard with a deck like this I would be thinking okay we want a bunch of sweepers a bunch of removal because our deck's going to be slow how do we stay alive against aggro this deck though is just playing a bunch of ramp stuff in the sideboard it's almost like a transformational sideboard I don't know why we're transforming out of chaotic transformation but I'm imagining the idea is you like cut your tra chaotic transformations evoke calamity stimulus packages and you bring in a bunch of just like invasions of Zendikar to ramp a bunch of tiny of industry for some reason there's a cough i guess maybe that's why we're playing eight basic mountains because we have a single cough in our sideboard more invoke calamities for some reason herd migration i've never seen this card in the sideboard before thunderous debut so the sideboard exists but it is super super walky so anyway this is chaotic transformation from platinum mythic rank player let's jump into some games and try to find out if the deck's a meme or a dream thanks for watching everyone enjoy the games and i'll be back to to discuss the deck of the wrap up need some magic cards well you can snag them from our sponsor card kingdom over at cardkingdom.com slash mtg goldfish all right meme or dream time we are playing some five color chaotic transformation in standard and this hand is a lot of lands but hopefully big score will fix that eventually. Wow, even more lands. Uh, Jetmere's Gardens, let's play Xander's Lounge. Next turn we can start cycling at least. Hopefully we don't get shield ridded. Ooh, wedding announcement for our opponent. Uh-huh. Well, okay, let's, uh, let's return. We will search for a basic land and make a... We're gonna have, yeah, let's make a human. I don't know if it really matters. We have all of our colors. We'll just take a mountain. Okay, we need our chaotic transformation. Hopefully, oh, Shieldred is bad. Opponent. Yep, yep, yep. 
doing shielded things. There's a ley line binding though, that's actually good. We can play a forest. Ley line binding the shielded. And I think we're just going to immediately, while our opponent's tapped out, big score, draw a couple cards. <laughs> okay, that's a chaotic transformation. And also an Atroxa. Now I guess we mostly want our opponent to tap down. Because counters are a concern. Opponent. Gets in. Does a little conniving. Down to 16. Uh, opponent passes and flips. Oh, do we just go for it? The problem is we just get so wrecked by make disappear. But if we resolve chaotic transformation, it would be very good. We could also wait and like stimulus package and try to set up for next turn. Will it be too late next turn? Also, we've drawn two of our Atroxas, which is very awkward. Yeah, I think we, I think we stimulus package. Make a couple treasures. Plays far as headquarters. Opponent cuts down. All right. Well, are we dead? That is a Rafine. Oh, so close. Opponent gets to attack with everything. Yeah, Rafine's kind of nutty. Opponent gonna do a ton of conniving. Well, if they didn't have a counter before, they probably do now because they just drew four new cards, five new cards. Opponent discards a bunch of stuff. Six, 79, 10 on. Wow, we're taking a ton. Uh, yeah, so we take a few million down to three. Opponent plays a land, going to pass. Well, we'll untap. We'll draw a chaotic transformation. If they have make disappear, they have make disappear. We can't really do anything about it. So sack this, make a one one. We waited as long as we could, but we are just at the like literally dead stage of this game. I imagine this ends with our opponent make disappearing our chaotic transformation. Artifact will be a treasure, no land. All right, well, here goes nothing. If this resolves, there's a chance. Wow, it does resolve, okay. Get an Atroxa, get a portal to Phyrexia, and we will get a careful cultivation, I guess. Okay. Well, it's a big Atroxa, so opponent's got to sack three. Is this going to be enough? Is this the comeback? We were so dead. Wow, what a weird pile. Land, sorcery, instant, enchantment. We'll leave the portal. Unfortunately, we're still just dead to our opponent killing this Atroxa. Play them out and pass. Don't kill the Atroxa. Don't kill the Atroxa. We were hoping that the Atroxa would hit a Ley Line Binding, but it whiffed. Although I guess because of the creature land, we could potentially still be dead. Well, let's see if they got removal. If you got removal, you got the game. Wandering Emperor, okay. I mean, Atroxa's not tapped, so not dead yet. I mean, if this Atroxa sticks, we do now have a portal to Phyrexia. Opponent takes up. Do you have removal? Or is this actually a chance that we win this? Atroxa has lifelink. The creature land can hit us to one, but it doesn't kill us. All right, opponent takes up for strike. Fires up the creature land. Wow, this is going to let him win, isn't it? Because our opponent can connive this big enough. Yeah, the first strike is actually going to do it. As long as our opponent has non-lands, this gets big enough that the Atroxa dies, and they do. So if we don't block Atroxa, we die. And if we do block Atroxa, we die. Oh, that was so cool, but it was also so meaningless. <laughs> so the Memer Dream player did manage to, uh, to build a... <laughs> A sideboard, which I appreciate. This mana base is like nothing I've ever seen before. Look at the amount of basics. My God. I mean, I know there's a card that searches out basics. <laughs> there is a card. But uh, yeah, there's, there is a, a lot. A lot, a lot of basics in this deck. Uh, so, sideboarding. Opponent's playing Esper Rafine. I mean, do we even change anything? Invoke Calamity doesn't seem great. Cough. <laughs> I guess we have eight mountains to turn on our, our one cough. Got him. Thunderous debut. I expect our opponent's going to bring in a bunch of counters. I mean, cough, I guess, is okay. I think we actually, we have 26 lands. Maybe we cut a mountain? Do we bring in Arlen? A forest? Let's try it like that. Let's trim back on, on some of those lands. Maybe we get punished for it. Well, I mean, we did chaotically transform. Unfortunately, Rafine, apparently better than Atroxa, Oh, this mana base. Oh, no. Oh, God. Uh, do we ever draw land number three? 
and then maybe land number four. That would be sweet. I mean, Chaotic Transformation did things there. It didn't not do things, which was cool. Would you like to keep your hand of magic cards? All right, we'll play Mountain and Pass. Well, we definitely need to draw at least one land for these careful cultivations. Opponent tap land. Oh boy. Well, maybe this deck needs 26 lands. Oh, we can channel it for two. Okay, that's better than I thought. For some reason, I was thinking the channel was three. I mean, that does help. That does mean at least we get to do something. We would still like to draw a land, but a bonus passes. Boom. Channel that. Instant speed Llanowar Elves. Unbeatable. Opponents in the deck. Can we draw a land? Can we please draw a land? Getting to this big score and this big score would be nice. Those are the worst. My least favorite, my least favorite timeouts are the timeouts where... Your opponent sits there for like 25 minutes and then they still don't they still don't uh run out of time i i want there to be punishment i want there to be punishment of our opponent running out of time when they sit there for so long about it well at least there's no creatures on the battlefield for rafine there is a rafine well we're gonna keep making monks so make a monk untap there's the transformation while well, we are going to main phase big score discard careful cultivation pass the turn well we're kind of hoping our opponent taps down if they tap down we get an atrox in a portal next turn with this chaotic transformation which would be pretty good if they don't tap down actually we don't really we need two turns don't we unless we draw an untap land if we draw an untap land we could well, no, we can do it next turn with the, the monks. Yeah, I mean, we probably go for it. I guess Invoke Calamity is another reason to play so many red sources. Ponet gets in with Rafine. All right, opponent, how about tapping out for something? Like a wedding. Oh, God. Okay, okay. It is time to chaotically transform. Ponet passes. So we're only getting two things, but two things is probably enough here because those two things are really good. So we're going to play a mountain. We are going to Chaotic Transformation, uh, get a treasure. Do we want to blow up the wedding announcement? No. No Planeswalker. I guess we blow up the creature land, though. Blow up the creature land. We might as well tap the one that's about to die. All right. Well, Chaotic Transformation, here they come. We will treasure into a portal, monk into a Troxa. Chaotic Transformation doesn't actually live up to his name, though. It's not that chaotic when you know what you're going to hit. <laughs> But it is powerful. Like, six mana, get a portal and an Atroxa, and maybe something else is actually kind of good? Opponent finds a Dark Slick Shores. We get to do Atroxa things. We'll take a Leyline Binding. Actually, no. We'll take a Stimulus Package, an Invoke Calamity, a Return to the Wilds, and a Spara's Headquarters. We monk them for one. And then the cool thing about Invoke Calamity is we can just, like, do it again. Opponent Shattered Zegdom. How many Chaotic Transformations does it take to win? Opponent's going to bounce the Atroxa. Mm-hmm. Wedding Announcement triggers. Well, we'll take a Rafine. Uh, opponent only has one mana up. So I think we actually just big score, discard Atroxa. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, let's get the let's get the stimmy going. We need a little a little stimmy. Cash in our treasures, make some treasures. Play the Spara's headquarters, and uh, all right, opponent, you're you're go, you're go, you're good, you're good. Now we have an enchantment too. Although enchantment is our least powerful our least powerful hit with chaotic transformation. Opponent, wedding announcement. Opponent's just playing some good fair espery magic. We are not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think we'll take an Atrox, so that seems good. Uh, how about a, an opponent <laughs> doesn't even wait to see and scoops it up. <laughs> All right, that was, that was pretty good. You know what? Let's run it back. That worked perfectly. I guess the deck is pretty good at doing things if it gets to resolve Chaotic Transformation. No guarantee we get to resolve Chaotic Transformation, but when it happens, playing the Mythic Rank player kind of, kind of knows what's up, knows what's up. Is there an enchantment we could spin into? So I guess the problem is it wouldn't matter anyway. So we could try to play a big enchantment to spin into, but we need enchantments like careful cultivation stimulus package to make creatures without ruining our chaotic transformation. So I don't know if it would actually matter anyway. So we might have to just settle for like, get an Atroxa, get a portal to Phyrexia. Hopefully that beats ya. We can turn our Arlen into Koth after sideboarding. <laughs> Got him.
Still not 100% sure about this mana base. The mana base is wonky. Being five colors for Leyline Binding makes sense to me. Like, that makes sense. I mean, it's it's Memer Dream. We can't, we can't complain too much. There's a sideboard. There's a sideboard this week, so we can't complain too much. I mean, we'll keep this. This is actually not the worst. The Sparrow's Headquarters is gonna do some work thanks to this Leyline Binding. Uh, Sparrow's Headquarters, go. Drawing land is also not bad. Uh, well, play the land past the turn. There's the white mana. And a wedding announcement. Yeah, I think we actually just answer that. Get rid of the wedding announcement. Play the mountain. Return from the wilds. Get a basic. Do we want a human or a food is the question. Yeah, we'll take the human. That's fine. Well, I guess we'll take the swamp to have all of our colors. Actually, does that even matter? We might just want another forest. Let's get a forest. I guess the Rafines Tower's a swamp anyway. Can we resolve this stimulus package? There actually might have been an argument for getting more red mana for this Invoke Calamity opponent. More wedding announcements. Well, odds of resolving Stimmy going up. Uh, so we will play a stimulus package. Make a couple treasures. Play a Rafines Tower. And, uh, all right, opponent. <laughs> Tap out for us, buddy. Tap out. How about tapping out, Goodis? <laughs> Good as zero. Play Shieldred. I've never wanted an opponent to play Shieldred more. You can play Shieldred. You can play Rafine. We're, we're cool with all that here. Just tap your mana so we can uh, resolve this chaotic transformation. <laughs> opponent. Adwara. All right. Passes. Uh, we untap. I mean, since we have all these Invoke Calamities, I think we just go for it. Chaotic transformation. You. Let's hit the Rafine's Tower. Still expect to counter, but we'll see. Wow! All right, our opponent does not believe in counters. Uh, let's get a land. It's a red source, which is good. Let's get a enchantment, which will enchant our treasure, I guess. Let's, yeah, I guess we should have done that in a different order. Uh, we get a portal, we get an Atroxa, we draw a million cards. A bonus that is this game. Uh, stimulus package, Volcanic Sprite return and a mountain i don't think we want the atroxa we want to leave it in our deck yeah so i think if you decide to try the deck i guess it is technically correct to opponent makes a 2-2 two -two. um it's technically correct to resolve the creature mode first because the creature mode gives us a target for careful cultivation i mean it's a very little thing that probably doesn't really matter that much but passing Sure. Make some dorks. We untap. We draw an island for seven. Actually, we can play the mountain. Let's play the mountain invoke calamity. Flashback a chaotic transformation. Uh, no planeswalker and land. Chaotic transformation number two. <laughs> okay, so first creature in case we get careful cultivation. Next enchantment, next artifact, next land, and uh, that was a pretty good game. Uh, let's get rid of this virtue. Portal number two uh, will take Leyline Binding, big score, a land in our land, and uh, eh, one more, one more chaotic transformation. That's that's fine. We will pass the turn. I like this deck so far. Discard. I'm surprised our opponent's sticking it out. Discard. Discard. All right, opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Your go! Two portals! Two po wow, they're passing. Okay. Opponents at 11. Passes. We draw. It's a cycling land. We'll play an Arlen. Watch it. Watch your opponent have the counter. Oh my god, they drew it now. Oh, I, I almost feel bad for our opponent about that one. <laughs> they, they found the counter, but one turn too late. Well, run out our stuff. Hit you with a Droxa. Opponent down to four, and... I mean, even if our opponent finds an answer, they still die. It just doesn't matter. Yeah, opponent scoops it up and, well, that was actually super sweet. Platinum Mythic Rain player, I will I will give you credit so far. That was a pretty sweet game. Uh, maybe Chaotic Transformation, a little bit of a sleeper. I mean, we'd probably be singing a different tune if our opponent top decked this Disdainful Stroke a couple turns earlier, but the sneaky tech of Invoke Calamity to recast Chaotic Transformation Memer dream time. We are chaotically 
transformationing, transform, probably transforming in a standard. And we're gonna keep this, although we desperately need a green source. If we get a green source, we can uh, start <laughs> channeling our way to some uh, Llanowar Elves. Oh boy, fairies. Oh. oh God, that's a lot of cultivation with little green mana. Ooh, this might be a tricky one. Oh boy, that's the worst draw. Okay, maybe we maybe we learned a lesson about this deck, which is don't keep wait, why is why is that out counters? Is this already untapping? My god, fairy dream theft. Oh dear. So we might have learned a lesson. Don't keep hands without green mana. That untapped way quick. We only have two lands. How is that untapped? Oh, it's another red source. Okay. Okay. So we need the green manas. This mana base, so many mountains. But we have that cock in our sideboard. <laughs> The one goth, bone it. Hits us to 13. I know I'm gonna get yelled at here for an early scoop. Let me explain my reasoning. We're playing a very wonky deck. Right now we look like Grixis Control. I think that it is in our best interest to concede here and not discard a unique card that our opponent's gonna be like, oh, I need to be prepared for that. So I think scooping is just correct like yes we're at 13 yes we're not literally dead but we also can't cast anything and if fairy sideboards in a bunch more counters we are in very sad shape how do we beat chaotic transformation or how do we resolve a chaotic transformation we don't really have much room the sideboard i appreciate that there is a sideboard but this sideboard is weird there is not there is not much removal. It's just all more big things, basically. Could bring in the battle to like try to ramp? Could bring in the the Titans of indus Industry. All right, let's go down and vote Calamity. Go down a Stimulus Package. Go down one Atroxa. I think we want to be able to ramp into, into our payoffs. Do we really need a basic of every color? That seems extreme. Do we really need eight mountains? That also is such a big number of mountains. Yes, yeah, deck maybe needs more green mana. Looking at this now, there's not as much green mana as I would like. So like trim one of these, trim one, of, we're just gonna trim. So we're gonna try to open up the possibility of ramping into our big threats. I feel like Titan of Industry is pretty good. Do we even want the cough? It's like such bad removal. Let's try it like that. This might just be a really tricky matchup for our deck. <laughs> Fast clock and a bunch of counters seems like uh, kind of the nightmare for Chaotic Transformation or any deck that's built around resolving a six mana sorcery. <laughs> ah! All right, not keeping that. Uh, okay, well, we got green mana. Let's hold on to the Trox to put the portal to the bottom. So I think our, geez, what is our hope? Land drops, resolve big score, or draw Titan of Industry. Land drops, resolve big score. Oh god. We're doing a very bad job at drawing lands this game. Fairy Vandal. But land drops, big score, chaotic transformation, that could, that could do a thing. Hey, that's a land drop. I mean, the challenge of being able to resolve things is still real. Ooh, more fairy vandals. Uh-huh. Opponent smacks us down to 18. Untap land. Well, at least Ley Lane Binding is a thing we can cast. Ego drain. Well, okay. Ley Lane Binding. Getting rid of a fan fairy vandal is not great, but it's better than getting it thought seized. And these will eventually start growing. And this means we cast a spell. <laughs> so we actually did cast a spell this game. I was a little worried this might be a whole match where we didn't cast a single spell, which is kind of embarrassing, but at least at least we checked the that off our bucket list. Cast a spell. Well, I take the Atroxa, interesting. Untap land. Hey, that is an untap land. Okay, so. So I think we pass the turn. On the end of our opponent's turn, we attempt a big score. Oh my goodness, Tillian's Messenger. Okay, we get to big score. That's way better than I thought. Big score. Stimulus package. Draw not much. Should we kill the messenger? It would cost both of our treasures? Yeah, I think we have to. So kill the messenger. Put Titan of Industry to the bottom. <laughs> draw an Atroxa. Hits us. Down to 15. We draw land. Well, I think we just return to the wilds, grab a basic. Actually, is that better than big scoring? Yeah, let's big score. 
Discard the Atroxa. Play a land. I mean, this opens up the possibility of us chaotic transformationing next turn, which would be really nice. Opponent gets and hits us. Passes. We draw planes. Well, play the planes. Play stimulus package. I mean, if we make enough mana, the thing about the fairy counter spells is they are typically soft counters. So if we make enough mana, we can just pay for them. Plus, just we have a lot of bombs in our deck now, a bunch are in our graveyard, but just like getting a bunch of lands on the battlefield's also pretty good because it means we can just like hard cast things. Like we have a lot of mana now. Opponent untaps. So we'd really just like our opponent to tap out. That would be the best. If our opponent taps out, they probably die. Halo Forger. Okay. Oh, that's actually pretty bad. Because that's going to take our Chaotic Transformation. We're going to hold on to this Leyline Binding this time. We actually want our opponent to take the Leyline Binding. Take the Binding. Oh, all right, opponent figured it out. <laughs> Takes a Chaotic Transformation. Well, now we actually need to draw something. Any of our big stuff. Invasion of Zendikar. That's not exactly big. But we will play it. We will get a couple lands. Take them out and take the forest yeah i guess we pass Ooh, okay these thought seizes yeah fairies does seem like a tricky match opponent's gonna tap down when we get to ley line binding to get rid of the messenger to keep that from going off at least those are gonna play a little defensively they're worried about us flipping the invasion i don't think we would sack all of our treasures to flip it anyway maybe we would is it worth it we would get a four four this would be a nice turn to draw something big many many big things in our deck can we draw one a portal's a big thing let's cast a portal to phyrexia <laughs> that's a good one that's a good one <laughs> all right our opponent May have stopped us from doing what we wanted to do, but uh, Portal to Phyrexia is pretty good. Wait, can we? Ooh, oh, this is hilarious. So I think if I'm understanding this right, we can reanimate Halo Forger. Pay six to flashback Chaotic Transformation. Treasure, Halo Forger, Tap Land. All right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, so creature first. Get in it. Titan industry, land next, get a forest, treasure next, get a portal, ley line binding, uh, we will carefully cultivate our Titan of industry. Titan of industry is going to get a shield counter and gain us five life. This deck's actually kind of sweet. That was all in our upkeep. Well, let's return, get a basic, get a human. Actually, do we even want to be? Yeah, we'll thin the deck. Get a basic, get a human. An opponent. Done, done. Well, okay. Apparently it is possible for us to beat fairies with this deck. This doesn't beat counters, right? I guess casting creatures with flash is something. Should we bring in the Arlen? Look at this curve. This is the sketchiest curve. Yeah, let's run it back. It worked that game somehow. <laughs> I do like this deck. The counter spell matchups gives me heartburn. It seems like it seems like such a scary matchup, but that game it worked out. We just like ramped enough that we could start casting things, even through the thought seizes. Let it be known. There were thought seizes. Alright, I think we will not keep this. Sand's actually kind of reasonable. Oddly, oddly reasonable. The two volcanic sprites are nice. There's a sleep curse fairy. The three volcanic sprites are nice. I mean, they're not good at killing sleep curse fairy, but oh god. Okay, that's kind of an issue. Oh jeez. Okay. So we need to get to four mana to pay for the wards. All right, pass the turn. Opponent land passes. Well, play a land past the turn. I'm gonna untap a sleep curse fairy. Uh huh. Opponent swamp and untaps. Oh, all right. Well, we're gonna get to kill one of them. It's not pretty, but we're gonna get to do it. Opponent hits us down to 14. So we get to untap, play a land, volcanic sprite, a sleep curse fairy. Pay the two. Put this portal to the bottom for now. All right, well, one threat dealt with for now. Tilion would actually be kind of bad. Halo Forger. Gonna get Thought Seized again? Yup. 
Well, good thing we're very good at drawing volcanic sprites. One thing I'll say about this deck, Platinum Mythic Ring Player, uh, maybe some sweepers in the sideboard could be worth another land. Well, okay. At this point, does it matter which one we kill? They're both three power. I think we actually hit the Halo Forger. Because we could draw like a ramp spell or something that we could cast this turn, which would be nice. Oh boy, this is the the most depressing chaotic transformation. Yeah, I could see a like a burn down the house in the sideboard being good. Or with the amount of colors we have. Yeah, this is bad. Wait, we're just pretty dead, aren't we? Ugh, all right, with the amount of colors we have, maybe we could uh, even just play a farewell. But I do think that could be a good addition to the sideboard because the like main deck plan is working. We actually like kind of have a shot here, maybe. Opponent loots, triggers, draws. Oh no, we don't have a shot because we die right now. I was gonna say chaotic transformation for portal would actually kind of get us out of this, but we just died to the shield or trigger. Not an instant, unfortunately. Game two went better than I would have expected. Fairy seems like a super miserable matchup for this deck, but uh, I do think sideboard sweepers, sideboard sweepers, we moved out. So it used to be, it used to be that the issue with Memer Dream decks is there was no sideboard. And I would say just play any sideboard, really like take random cards in your color from your collection and throw them in your sideboard. And that's gonna be better than no sideboard. So I can't complain too much about this sideboard. Although I will say the deck list could probably use a smidge more removal. Like the, that would, that would be helpful. It's sweeper in the sideboard. The sideboard seems to be like a ramp package, which we saw in game two actually kind of work. A bunch of ramp stuff for, I guess, not having to chaotically transform, but I could definitely see some sweepers, I think would go a long way. Cause it's not like we're really adding creatures to the battlefield. We're not really adding creatures to the battlefield. So uh, just being able to like sweep the board against aggro would be huge and it wouldn't hurt us much. So I think that might be the first change I'd make to this deck. Just add add a few sweepers. Copper line Georg, eh? All right, let's see what our opponent's up to. This hand does not feel horrible against some sort of aggro deck. Well, we don't gotta worry about counters, which is nice. We have two removal spells in hand, which is also nice. Why can this enchant an artifact? I really don't understand. Oh, all right. It was, it was from Kamigawa. That makes, that makes all the sense. Well, I guess we have to play this proving grounds past the turn. Got to get the green mana for our ramp. It is nice not to have to worry about a Fable of the Mirror Breaker coming down. Opponent. Hopeless Nightmare. Well, we will discard a island. Could use a Chaotic Transformation. That would actually be pretty sweet here. I see this card way more than I thought I would. All right, there's the Dread Knight. Sure. That's going to live for now. We draw a Stimulus Package. We'll play the land. Return to the Wilds. Basic land. The human is probably more relevant here. Uh, grab a mount and pass the turn. Okay, we're getting there. We're actually getting to where we need to be. We do need to find the chaotic transformation or just draw, I guess, a trox that we could cast after the stimulus package comes down. I like that we're not dead to a shielded. We actually have an answer for it. Opponent gets and hits us. And we can probably sort of time walk our opponent by killing this Moss Ward Dread Knight because they're going to try to draw with it, I assume. Soul of Wind Grace. Takes a land from our graveyard. I think we play a mountain, play a stimulus package. We are probably going to end up getting rid of the Soul of Wind Grace. Well, come on, Chaotic Transformation. That is that is what we need. Jun probably can kill artifacts and enchantments. That's kind of kind of their gimmick. About it. Another hopeless nightmare, eh? Yeah, we'll just discard this careful cultivation, I think. And yeah, we'll discard the cultivation. So there's no lands in the graveyard, right? There's no lands. We could just chump. Yeah, I think we chump the wind grace. Because we can always make another token with stimulus package. There's also a chance this lets us kill the wind grace with volcanic sprite. Blossoming Tortoise. All right, yeah, we're gonna do it. All right, hit the Wind Grace, sack the treasure. Forest to the bottom. Ooh, ooh, that's a chaotic transformation. Oh no, but we spent all of our mana. Oh, that's awkward, okay. That's very awkward. We need to draw an untapped land. 
We might have done this to ourselves. Pwn it passes. Big score. Okay. How do we avoid death? If we can live two more turns, we got a shot. Can we live two more turns? We can get an enchantment, but that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think we gotta pass and see what our opponent does. The problem is this creature land represents lethal. There's the creature land representing lethal. If we ley line binding, we can't big score. Wow, this is so greedy. All right. Discard the ley line binding, big score. We need to draw a removal spell. And we don't. All right, so now we're officially dead. I know that was a weird turn, so here's the problem. If we just ley line binding something, our chaotic transformation, even if we draw the land to cast it, leaves us dead on board the following turn. I know it looks really weird and greedy, but I think that's actually just the, the correct line, is we need to try to like high roll a little bit and draw into another removal spell, which then would, uh, which then would let us win the game. All right, we're gonna run it back. Let me know what you think about that ley line binding line. Was that actually the correct line? All right, I mean, we'll keep this. I guess we're on the make Lana War Elves plan. Mana, a bit questionable, and this invoke is a minute away from doing anything. Uh, well, we will play a forest and pass the turn. Opponent, copper line, George, and teachings of the Kirin. Gonna mill and make a 1-1. One, one. Well, let's channel this, make a dork. Play a land and pass the turn. We need, uh, so we found the chaotic transformation. We need like a big score. We need some way to, we need some way to get permanence on the battlefield. Well, let's cultivate again. We're kind of getting pretty aggroed here by the squee. Opponent passes. Oh, more careful cultivations. Not what we were looking for. Pass the turn. Oh, this is very awkward. Stack has some really strong draws and some very awkward draws. This is kind of the very awkward draw stage. Next turn, we can theoretically chaotic transformation for a Atroxa, but just an Atroxa, I don't think wins us the game. Opponent has a virtue of persistence to kill one of our dorks. Yeah, I'm not sure we live long enough here. We really, we really need to draw something. Opponent squeeze again. We're taking six. Do we even live two more turns without chump blocking? And Vogue Calamity is looking ultra jank at the moment. We drop to nine. Opponent plays a land. Well, okay, boom. Careful cultivation again. Three of those this game and not much else. I think Sweeper in the sideboard is like a million percent what this deck wants. Oh boy. Yeah, now I think we're very dead. So we need what? Untapped white source to ley line binding? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, okay, stimulus package. Pass the turn. Opponent. Okay, we're seeing the, the memer dream part of the deck now. <laughs> Our first game was so good and so explosive. Last game, it's possible we should have just went with the ley line binding, took the less risky line. But this game, we're seeing the expensiveness of the deck, I think. I think we might update it before our next game. I think it might be the right thing to do. Opponent, squeeze, grows. So I believe we go to one here if I counted properly. Unclear if there's a way we can get back into it from here. So we take eight, we go to one. Currently, uh, we can't even really chaotic transformation. We can get a creature. If we draw an untap land, we could creature artifact enchantment. Well, we'll see. Down to one. The thing is, even if we get there, Portal doesn't kill enough. Mosswood, Red Knight, Pona draws a card. And, I mean, we're at the looking for a miracle stage. Tear Asunder to get rid of the Stimmy. All right, untap land that isn't untap land. Well, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if this is enough. Six. I guess it's going to depend on if they can kill the Atroxa. So blow up that, blow up that. I guess we might as well upgrade this land. All right, so we get a portal in an Atroxa. Let's get the land first. Atroxa second. Portal third. All right, uh, Atroxa will find us an Atroxa, a careful cultivation, an invoke, a Rafine's Tower, and a chaotic transformation. Actually, let's take return. Yeah, let's take return. I mean, there's a decent chance we're just dead here, regardless. 
We need the we need the Atroxa to stick somehow. We'll discard a careful cultivation. Opponent says good game, which I assume means they have a removal spell. Liliana. We're gonna keep this. We are finding out if a chaotic transformation is a meme murder. Oh no, oh my god, aggro. Okay. So uh aggro's tough just because Oh, if they have a Thalia, we're so screwed. Aggro's tough because uh because of the sideboard plan of this deck. Not not the most not the most ideal. Well, play the tap, land past the turn, or play the land past the turn. Our curve is very high. It is very high. If our opponent plays anything here, it's bad for us. Hits us. I mean, basically we need to combo off. The problem is our comboing off is gonna be very slow. I think we'll talk about this when we do our uh, our wrap up and talk about whether the deck's a, a meme or a dream. Yeah, we're just dead here. But I think there's two things you, yeah, that did not go well. So I think the biggest thing, there's two big things, and we'll talk about this in the wrap up, but there's two big things that would greatly improve this deck. Number one is, the mana base being fixed. I actually like the non-lands in the main deck, especially considering the restriction of chaotic transformation. Like we can't play cheap creatures or whatever, but I think the, the two big things that I've noticed with this deck that could bring it from meme to dream would be number one, fix the mana base. Uh, there's so many, there's a absurd, absolutely absurd number of basic lands in this deck. Way, way, way. I know like, so some arena players get too greedy and play zero basics, which I think is wrong. I think you gotta play at least one or two basics. Like no basics is not right. On the other hand, this deck goes way too far the other direction where it's a five color deck that's playing like 15 basics for no real reason. We have like, that one, what is it, seek the something, three drop thing that like makes a token and finds a basic. But we have one card that searches a single basic land. So yeah, you gotta play some basics to support that, but you don't need 15. That is a ridiculously high number. So fix the mana base. Number two is just like, I'm glad we have a sideboard. <laughs> so we can't be too harsh. Wow, we're gonna keep this. Look at all these basics. We have every color of basics except the one that lets us cast return. <laughs> Return from the wilds. Uh, but we do have this volcanic spite, which is something. Bone at mountain. Yeah, I mean, we gotta play Sparse Headquarters. Our mana colors are gonna be good thanks to this Triome now. Now we can cast this. I mean, I guess maybe we can just ramp into Atroxa here. It does seem like if we get down Atroxa, it should be pretty good for us. Beard for our opponent. Let's, yeah, I think we just go on this Atroxa plan. Play a Plains. Return from the wilds, make a human, and search for a basic. What basic are we missing? I guess it doesn't matter now. Always take mountains, I guess, because of invoke calamity. If you have the colors, always take the mountain. The other thing is just a sideboard. Sweepers in the sideboard would be good. Like, I'm glad there is a sideboard. That's, uh, that's better than usual. Adding some sweepers to the sideboard would actually go a long way. Play stimulus package. Play a island. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually kill the Baird and still Atroxa next turn, which is nice. Opponent's playing an interesting take on Boro. Sunrise Cavalier. Okay. So I think we just Volcanic Spite the Baird. Put a mountain to the bottom. Draw another stimulus package. I think we actually block. Like the token's nice for chaotic transformation, but right now we're in trying to stay alive mode. Uh, yeah, let's run out of Troxa. <laughs> Hopefully find a chaotic transformation. Stimulus package, ley line binding, return, no chaotic transformation. I guess we take a rockfall veil. Do we want, yeah, I mean, I guess we take another Troxa. I was on the fence whether we actually wanted to take Atroxa there, but I guess we still have one in our deck. And we have the colors that we can actually just cast a second one, so it seems worth it. Opponent, gonna kill the Atroxa. Recruitment officer. It's in for three. I'll play the land. Atroxa number two. There's Chaotic Transformation. Chaotic Transformation, Volcanic Spite. Careful cultivation. I think we leave the portals in the deck. Careful consideration. I mean, we would like this Atroxa living. We really need two turns. Oh boy, another one. We really need two turns to set up the destroy evil. Opponent hits us down to four. Volcanic spite the Cavalier. 
Put a forest to the bottom. Play a land. Play a stimulus package. Return from the wilds. Make a human food. Pass the turn. Okay, another Sunrise Cavalier. That doesn't kill us, though. That doesn't kill us. Gonna be close. We are down to one. But we get to chaotically transform. No Planeswalker. Tap land. Okay. So here, here we go. So blow up our stuff. Get an Atroxa. Get a portal. Get a careful cultivation. And a land. Get a bunch of triggers, leyline binding, volcanic spite, return, and Jetmere's Gardens. Okay. I mean, if our opponent's aggro deck beats the third Atroxa, then I guess then I guess they just get us. Like, <laughs> GG. We can gain some life with the food. We can cast the leyline binding. Oh, opponent GG'd us. I think they forgot we have a food though. I think they might have forgot. Or maybe they have double burn spell. If they also have like a lightning strike, I guess that gets us. All right, bloodthirsty adversary. I mean, once we once we attack with this Atroxa, it's over though, right? Like it's definitely over. I guess we GG them now. Good game, just not the way you thought, opponent. Not the way you thought. <laughs> uh, let's take a Sunrise Cavalier. Play a land, go to combat, smack ya around a bit, and opponent. <laughs> I think they thought they beat us. I think they actually thought they had beat us. I don't think that was like the sarcastic good game. I think they actually thought they were winning there and forgot about the food token and then it backfired because there was not another good game after we won. <laughs> Our opponent got so excited they were going to beat three Atroxes. Well, Chaotic Transformation, when it gets time to do its thing, it's actually pretty good. The challenge is when do you actually get the time? All right, on to game three. Can we be aggro with aggro on the play? We are going to need a good draw. Well, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna try this. It is possible we just get run over before we get to do anything, but in theory, careful cultivation into big score, into either a Troxa or maybe we draw, maybe we draw a uh, chaotic transformation and who knows what could happen. A bonus. Wow, nothing? Okay, well, we'll play them out and impasse there. They must be flash, no flash either. Okay, well, this is going better than I thought. Wedding announcement. Well, we will make a land of our elves. Opponent makes a token. Well, we will play a swamp. Big score, away a mountain. And pass the turn. Opponent planes. Ooh, Thundering Raju. Okay, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. All right, down to 14. Opponent draws a card. Ooh, Chaotic Transformation, though. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, is this just the nut draw? I think this is the nut draw. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what's better than an Atroxa? How about a... An Atroxa and a Portal to Phyrexia to get rid of this Thundering Raju. No Planeswalker, no land. All right, this is uh, this is not bad. We will take a Portal to Phyrexia and an Atroxa. And uh, GG. Take a, actually, let's take Leyline Binding. Big score. Chaotic Transformation Mountain. And uh, we're kind of set up to just do it again. Okay, so that is literally as good as our deck can run. I think that is actually the, the best our deck can possibly run. Turn four portal plus Atroxa is kind of absurd. Turn three big score, turn four chaotic transformation. That actually probably gonna beat a lot of decks. Can you kill the Atroxa? The thing, like once we get to this point, all right, opponent does get rid of the Atroxa for now. Once we get to this point, the problem our opponent has is chaotic transformation begets more chaotic transformation and it just keeps happening. We'll take a thundering Raju. We will one, two, uh, let's just play a Zeotaurus Proving Grounds. You know what? I think we actually just pass. Let's just pass. Big score is probably better here. Siege veteran opponent goes to combat. Well, I thought aggro would be like our worst matchup, but it's kind of actually working here. Opponent. I mean, we will trade because we just get back the Raju anyway. So there's really, there's really no reason not to trade here. So we'll trade big score, discard a mountain, 
make some treasures. Untap. Get back the Raju. And I think we just go for go for the GG here. So uh, we will sack a treasure. Chaotic transformation. No, no wow, we get to blow up the land too. Oh, this is this is dirty. <laughs> we get to blow up the planes with ossification. Uh Ra Raju becomes an Atroxa. Portal to Frexia number two. We get another Atroxa. Uh, Stimmy, Volcanic Spite, and a land. Invoke Calamity, land. Return, actually, let's just take another Chaotic Transformation. I don't even know if we want Chaotic Transformation anymore. All right, that was a, that was a good turn. That was a good, good turn. Copper line gorge, discard five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All right, opponent. Can you beat two portal to Phyrexias and an Atroxa, which is kind of infinite because if it dies, it keeps coming back, passes. All right, how about a siege veteran? That seems good. How about a recruitment officer? That seems not good, but whatever, it's free. We will take it. <laughs> Go to combat. Counter on Atroxa. Gain eight, and this, I mean, this has gotta be the end, right? Wandering Emperor, but it doesn't even tap because Atroxa's kinda busted. Bonin's gonna make a token, sure. Takes their beats. Well, let's play a stimulus package. Make some treasures, pass the turn. At this point, I don't think it really matters what we do. I don't know how we lose from here. I guess killing, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Well, let's lane line binding away the Wandering Emperor. So opponent rats our board, but like with the two portals out, it just doesn't actually matter. Like sure, our board is gone, but we get a soldier and then the portals just keep doing portal things. Opponent, bases, yup. I mean, opponent's fighting the good fight. They are not giving up. Uh, I think we're just a soldier deck now. Get back the recruitment officer. Get back the siege veteran. An opponent realizes there's no way out, and stack's actually kind of sweet. I mean, we've seen Chaotic Transformation really go off a couple of times, and when it does, it is pretty spectacular. We have also seen some general clunkiness. Land, please? I mean, there's also just some um, unfortunateness. Well, we get to Volcanic Spite. Put in Vote Calamity to the bottom. Well, we draw a basic swamp. Opponent gets to draw an extra card, unfortunately. Well, we hit our land. Unfortunately, it comes on our end step, so we don't actually get to take advantage of it this turn. The idea of this deck's really cool. I, I, I will give a shout out to whoever built this, Plant a Mythic Rank player. I will give a shout out just for the coolness of the deck. Execution, TBD. So far, we're at one and two, so we're in meme mode, but. Opponent, wow, discarding the hand size, so we'll play a swamp and pass the turn. Can we draw a land? The battle of two decks not drawing lands. Well, it's not a green source, but it is a land. So opponent looks like Esper. Well, I don't even know. Esper, no lands. Hey, it's Memer Dream in Memer Dream Week. One of the ways that decks could theoretically win a bunch of games in a row is uh, is our opponent not hitting land. So in Memer Dream Week, we don't really complain. We're gonna just pass here. If our opponent taps down for something, and you know if our opponent gets a the chance, they're gonna play something because they're discarding it. Wow, they're still not hitting lands. I mean, I don't think we're gonna big score into our opponent not playing anything. They're discarding the hand size. There's really no reason to uh, give them a target for a counter spell. Because until they draw land, this is going swimmingly. Our opponent draws a land. Kaido Shizuke. Well, we will just big score. Discard a volcanic spite. Make some treasures. Kaido comes down. Ley line binding. Get rid of the Kaido. Opponent might have been better off just looting there, honestly. Opponent passes. Well, there's a stimulus package. Let's play stimulus package. Let's play a land and basic land and human from Return to the Wilds. I mean, now we're getting to the point where we kind of just, how much red do we have? Red, 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 red. So we have enough red. Yeah, we'll just grab a forest. 
All right. Well, I mean, we're in pretty good shape. We really just want the chaotic transformation. If we draw the chaotic transformation, this one's gonna come to an end pretty quick. I guess there's still a little risk of a shieldred wrecking us. All right, Kaido. Not a shieldred, so that's fine. I mean, we get to untap and do a lot of big scoring. Opponent phases out the Kaido we untap. Well, big score. Discard a careful cultivation. Ugh. Play a mountain. Big score. Discard a mountain. Okay. I mean, we found an invoke calamity. Opponent goes to combat. What can we invoke calamity? We can big score volcanic spite, I guess. Opponent gonna draw a card. Uh huh. And opponent passes. Well, let's invoke calamity. We have so much mana, we should be able to pay for the common counters at least. Well, we want to be invoke calamitying to uh, to cast our chaotic transformation again, but at this point, we will accept the card draw. Actually, volcanic spite. Big score. Discarding copper line George. <laughs> All right, we draw an Atroxa. Still no chaotic transformation. Let's put a careful cultivation back into our library. <laughs> draw another one. Well, let's forest back in the library <laughs> into invoke calamity. Opponent, wear fox bodyguard. Sure. I mean, we could cast Atroxa right now. I think I'd rather wait till next turn, though. Opponent, combat. Hits us. We're not under that much pressure, honestly. And if we do it next turn, we don't have to spend all of our treasures. Opponent passes. Or we could just do the same thing. Let's do the same thing, actually. Invoke Calamity. I mean, sooner or later, we're going to hit the Chaotic Transformation. Volcanic Spite. Target the Werefox Bodyguard. And Big Score. Discard a Careful Cultivation. <laughs> All right. Well, kill the Werefox Bodyguard. We might be in backup plan territory here. We might be in... We could just sack 13 treasures and make 13 one ones. It's not as much fun as Chaotic Transformation, but that seems like it could be a fairly effective plan for winning the game. I think we're actually gonna wait one more turn. We have dug so deep in our deck. This Atroxa will almost certainly find Chaotic Transformation. It almost can't not find Chaotic Transformation. There's the Shieldred. All right, well we untap, we get drained by Shieldred. We draw a return from the wilds. We play an Atroxa. Atroxa, this has got to find us a chaotic transformation. It has to. All right, opponent's gonna kill it, that's, that's fine. There's no way we whiff here, right? It's like impossible. All right, chaotic trans, there it is. Chaotic transformation, mountain, leyline binding. Okay, we did it. So now we need to sack a treasure to make a to make a human. We're gonna sack these manually. I'm very worried that we accidentally <laughs> fizzle our chaotic transformation. All right, sack three treasures. Chaotic transformation. Uh, no planeswalker. Tap land. Yes. Okay, we got there. This should be pretty good. So we get another Atroxa. We get a portal to Frexia. We get a land. We get a stimulus package. We make some treasures. Grab you, grab you, grab another chaotic transformation. Wrath your board, play the land. We could just do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, we'll just pass. All right, your go opponent. If our opponent can deal with the Troxa, we can do it again next turn. Plus we got the portal to Phyrexia. So our opponent also needs to deal with that or we're just gonna, we're just gonna kinda, wow, they got a lot of four drops. Twining Twins, Interceptor. So this is like creature control blink. Kind of a cool idea. Looks annoying to play against. Like Interceptor or Ty keep blinking it. Opponent, gonna kill the Atroxa. Sure. I mean, that's a pretty temporary solution with a portal to Frexy on the battlefield. Going to pass. Well, we'll untap. Take a Shieldred. And opponent! 
<laughs> doesn't like uh doesn't like us having shield rid you know what else could be interesting in this deck is some counter hate i wonder if it's worth playing like what's the what's a tyrannosaurus rex is it just tyrannosaurus rex i wonder if it's worth uh playing the tyrannosaurus rex just to have a a card that gets through counters esper esper control esper creature control let's bring in the cough go down a cultivation and do we want another invoke calamity invoke calamity was actually really good that game somehow let's run it back i think that's fine we'll bring in one cough to have a little bit more removal one thing that's awkward about this deck is we don't actually have a kill shieldred plan all lands in a stimulus package i mean it's not like our deck's doing anything early in the game anyway so oh god six lands six lands <laughs> Just what we were looking for. Well, I mean, we have a lot of Triumphs we can cycle, so that's a tiny bit of somewhat good news. I think we actually play this Spara's Headquarters, so... So we turn on Leyline Binding if we draw it. Opponent, Dark Slick Shores, Liliana. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay, ticks up. Swamp, I guess. Oh, we draw a Volcanic Spite. That's actually something. I think we actually just have to throw this at Liliana. Liliana making us discard is not the absolute end of the world. It's annoying. But uh, Liliana ultimating, that actually is the end of the world. I mean, because our opponent's also tearing apart their hand. Duress is our careful cultivation. Digs up Liliana. We'll discard a Rafine Tower. Opponent discards a Cathar Commando. Tap land passes. Play a mountain, pass the turn. So what would be good here? Stimulus package would be fine. All right, opponent's just gonna run out an obscure interceptor. Connives away in her tie. Well, I mean, this helps with their Liliana, but our opponent is technically out of cards. Let's cycle proving grounds. Discard a forest. Well, play a mountain, pass the turn. This has been the landiest draw in existence. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of thirteen. That is actually impressive. Opponent takes up Liliana, gets and hits us. All right. Wait, another one? Whoa, 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 whoa. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven out of fourteen. That's actually like kind of record breaking. About it. Takes up Liliana. I'm tired of your. Wow! Another one. Seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 out of 15? Now I'm just staying in this game to uh, see if we can draw another land. Portal. Okay, we gotta, we gotta calculate that. We have to. That's a lot of lands. I think that's enough lands that it's worth calculating. I mean, we did keep a very land-heavy hand, but there's gotta be a lot of zeros. Yeah. 0.00121%. Yeah, okay, so... We did draw, we did draw a lot of lands. That was a huge number of lands. Uh, well, let's run it back. <laughs> run it back, draw some action. Our opponent's got a lot of discard. Well, we might be, we might be trending towards meme mode with this deck. After last game, do we really do this? You know what? I mean, remember our curve starts at four. There's really not much this deck is gonna do in the early game anyway. So I feel like just hitting land drops is actually kind of fine with the deck. It's actually probably kind of ideal. The only problem is if we just draw six more lands like we did last game, and we might be doing this game, then that's actually a problem. If we just continue to only draw lands, opponent of Dark Slate Shores passes. Wow, it's it's happening again. Play the island past the turn. Opponent Fairy Masterminds. Well, we will Volcanic Spite that. Eh, yes, Volcanic Spite that. Forest to the bottom. Draw a portal to Phyrexia. Well, okay, okay. Maybe we can flood our way into the portal. Opponent untaps. There's probably an argument for waiting and killing it during our opponent's turn so they don't draw a card. The problem is then they can just counter it. That's another portal. Drawing both of our portals is not ideal. So we need the volcanic spites to put them back in our deck. Hmm, this deck gets some janky draws, doesn't it? This is like, this is like next level, next level jank. 
Well, we're gonna cycle over Fiend's Tower. Opponent undoubtedly leaving up a bunch of four mana counters. We draw a Leyline Binding that somehow, even though we have drawn every land we can't cast, and now our opponent gets to draw two cards a turn. Oh, we're getting wrecked. Oh no, we're getting like hard wrecked. We are getting absolutely smacked. Opponent. Yeah, the, the ability for the deck to flood out and still not be able to cast spells is, that's unique. Normally, if you flood out, you can at least cast four what you what you draw but we have managed to flood out and not be able to cast anything about it plays a sea chrome coast well uh cycle as the Atora's proving grounds i mean i guess we did cycle a white source into a big score that would be good if it could resolve but it seems unlikely well play approving grounds past the turn we have every basic except the one that lets us actually cast the ley line binding Opponent started off without many cards in hand either, but uh, Kaido has uh, undone any mulliganing our opponent's done. I mean, we gotta cast this big score, but it is 100% about to get countered. Liliana. Yeah, we're also seeing an issue with this deck, which is Portal to Frexia is very key to our plan. All right, they have a Fairy Mastermind, but we only have two in our deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we're gonna discard Careful Cultivation. Opponent gets to draw a card. We have a game plan. I don't know if it's a good game plan, but we do have a game plan. And that game plan, I think, our opponent's completely tapped out. So we could play Atroxa and draw a bunch of cards, try to hit a Leyline Binding and a White Source. But I think what we have to do is just play Carpusen Forest and uh, run out the portal. We really need it to live. If our opponent can kill it, we almost certainly die. But we will hard cast the portal past the turn. Yeah, maybe cycling that Rafine's Tower was a bad, bad plan. Please don't kill the portal. All right, gonna loot. I mean, we saw, saw Cathar Commando, so we know they have answers in their deck. I mean, we're all in on this portal. We are all in on the portal. We're gonna discard this Atroxa. Opponent discards a Lily. She Shieldred, okay, that doesn't kill Portal, though. Wow, okay, okay, okay. So we get to get back a Troxa. There is hope! <laughs> Wait, the, the meme is back on. Okay, so do we really not hit a white source? My god. All right, so we'll take the cough. We'll take the return from the wilds. Stimulus package. And we'll take a mountain. And a big score. We draw for our turn, we get shieldrited. Play a mountain, play a stimulus package. Ooh, do they have a counter? All right, opponent has negate. Well, ley line binding to get rid of the shieldred. Pass the turn. Boy, did, <laughs> cycling that Rafine Sour ended up being brutal. Opponent kills the Atroxa. They still gotta deal with the portal though, or it just comes back and does it again. Like, with the portal out, <laughs> the Atroxa is not going away. Opponent loots. I mean, Kaido, I guess, is very good at digging out from a mulligan, but our opponent mulliganed to five in a, and got back in it. Opponent passes. Well, okay. Let's do it again. Atroxa returns. Uh, chaotic Transformation. Still no white mana. Uh, Rockfall Veil. Invoke Calamity, Stimulus Package. Yeah, we'll leave Atroxa in the deck. We don't want Atroxa. So draw a bunch of cards. There's a White Source. So we'll play the White Source. Return to the Wilds. Human and Food. This would give us a buffer for the Liliana Edict. I mean, I guess we also need Kaido not to ultimate. That would potentially be bad. The other upside of uh, not ramping here is this also turns on Ka chaotic transformation. I don't know if we actually go for it this turn, but pass and we can big score. Opponent take Numa. Gets back a Cathar Commando. Okay. Plays Cathar Commando. Well, in that case, let's discard a land. All right, kind of whiff. Pass the turn. Well, this does mean our opponent can blow up the portal. I guess I could also get back Shieldred. All right, they blow up the portal. I think that means we're without a portal for the rest of the game, which is kind of awkward. Shieldred's Edict to get rid of the Atroxa. Okay. 
loots with Kaido. Yeah, not having a portal left is actually kind of bad. <laughs> All right, opponent's gonna take down, sure. Well, we definitely gotta stack some treasures to make some tokens to attack these planeswalkers. This ended up being a wild game. All right, sack and sack. Untap, both at Kaido. All right, opponent has an Urtai. So they're gonna blow up one of our tokens, block the other token, actually no, to kill the Urtai, put a land back. Okay, so we get to hit the Kaido, which is big. Invoke Calamity, Volcanic Spite on the Kaido, and big score, discarding Spyro's headquarters. Oh, okay, I think we did it. So we kill that, we'll put a land back in our deck. The question is, can we, <laughs> Can we win this game somehow? Play the Mountain Volcanic Spite. Get rid of this Kaido, which has been the bane of our existence. Put a Plains back in our deck. All right, we're on the, the super janky, the super janky treasure beatdown plan, I guess. I mean, we can get another Atroxa, but opponent's gonna tick up. We'll discard a Return to the Wilds. Actually, we're probably just better off Chaotic Transforming, right? So let's, okay, this is gonna work. So we can Volcanic Spike the Liliana. Get rid of the Liliana. Uh, careful Cultivation can go back. We draw a Mountain. So we'll play the Mountain, Chaotic Transformation, and uh, okay. So there's no portal, I don't believe. So I don't think we get an Artifact. We can try, yeah, no Artifact. There should be an Atroxa. Enchantment is careful cultivation. And land is a forest. Atroxa will take Leyline Binding Big Score, Return to the Wilds. Actually, no, let's take Chaotic Trans... Actually, no, we'll take Return to the Wilds. I don't know if we want to chaotically transform anymore, and we'll just take the Atroxa to our hand. Well, this is what we got to win the game. We'll see if it's... We'll see if it's enough. Stimulus package. Go. All right, I mean, opponent's out of cards, so it seems like there's a decent shot this works, right? We have an Atroxa, we got a million treasures. We have another Atroxa in hand. I think Chaotic Transformation is offline. We got no artifact left. Yeah, drawing both portals was, or drawing the extra portal was bad. I wonder if this deck needs three portals. There is like, I was starting to mention this, or oh, an opponent scoops it up. I started to mention this earlier, but there is some low roll potential where if you play all, only two portals, and then we draw both of them. Then I, Volcanic Spite helps get them back in the graveyard. But if somehow you end up without being able to get them back in the graveyard, it does turn off like one of the most powerful modes on Chaotic Transformation. But well, we got there. That was a, that was a battle. So what do we learn about Chaotic Transformation in Standard? Is the deck a meme or a dream? And technically we went three and two, which means the deck is a dream. Like that's kind of how the rules work. Although I will say, it's a dream with a big asterisk, actually two big asterisks. So there's one thing I really love about the deck. In the main deck of this deck, discounting the lands, I think is actually really solid. Like, yes, it can be slow, but it's really sneaky good deck building to make chaotic transformation work, to control, to make it not chaotic, which is the whole point of it. Like, to know that when we uh, activate it or cast it, we're gonna get a portal, we're gonna get an Atroxa. So I really actually like the main deck. Yes, sometimes it can be too slow, but we saw the game against, like, the Boros aggro deck, we can also race aggro sometimes. Like if we get our best draw, we can be chaotic transformationing into Portal and Atroxa on turn four, which is kind of just unbeatable for most decks. So I really like the non-land cards in the main deck. That is the dream part of the deck. There are two aspects of the deck though that I think are a meme and could be greatly improved. So number one is I think the mana base is actually kind of god awful. <laughs> So we're a five color deck, but we're playing 15 basic lands. Yes, I know we have Return to the Wild, which cares about basics, but that's not that much. You don't need to play 15 basics to make Return to the Wilds work. So I think that the easiest way to improve this main deck is just play a bunch more dual lands. Like, I think the optimal mana base is probably going to be maybe one of each basic. I can see an argument for. It's also possible that you don't even play all these off color basics uh, and you play like two basics but we should have room for like 10 more dual lands in this deck and i would say there's a nice little deck building lesson here this is what i would consider a gruel base deck or even like 
a mono red base deck that's splashing green in the other colors. So as we add more duels to the deck, we want to make sure that all of our duels are making red or green mana, primarily red mana if we're going to play Invoke Calamity. So we want a bunch, like we can add more Triomes if we want to. Uh, we can add a bunch more of the Innistrad lands that are uh, splashing additional colors. We can play more fast lands if we want to. So that I think is number one. Like there's just no reason to play 15 basics in a five color deck and we saw in some of our losses like it was due to just mana inconsistency like drawing too many mountains and not other colors or drawing no mountains and like you no know, dual lands so the mana base was pretty clunky but that's very easy to fix just toss in a bunch more red or green blaze dual lands and that's going to improve the mana the other part of the deck that i really didn't like is the sideboard so the sideboard i think what it's going for is to be like a somewhat transformational sideboard where i don't know what actually like hates on chaotic transformation that we're scared of but i assume the idea of the sideboard is you like take out your chaotic transformations you take out your invoke calamities you take out your stimulus packages you take out your i don't even know something like that and you just like bring in a bunch of invasion of zendikars you bring in a bunch of titans of industry you just bring in all of this ramp stuff and you try to win without uh without using chaotic transformation the thing is, I feel like this plan loses to the... <laughs> to the same thing like the problem with trying to cast these big things and use them to win the game is if your opponent counters them your plan kind of falls apart i don't think that thunderous debut or titan of industry is meaningfully different than chaotic transformation like the issue is the same if your opponent make disappears your thunderous debut it's just as bad as if they make disappear your chaotic transformation so i think that this deck would be way better with just a normal non-transformational sideboard the biggest thing that we're missing is just more interaction yes we got volcanic spite yes we got some ley line bindings but like burn down the house farewell brotherhood and more targeted removal targeted removal like more ley line bindings and here he's warcrafting something can get shielded off the battlefield i think that would go a really really long way to improving the deck so overall the deck's a dream because we had a winning record and this actual game plan is really interesting and fun and surprisingly strong but there's still some meme aspects that can be improved like playing a more interactive sweepery sideboard because remember our deck's really slow like we're a slow deck unless we get our nut draw so being able to just like brothers to end uh, whatever burn down the house farewell to slow things down while we're getting things set up would be really really helpful uh, so playing a more interactive better more real non-transformational sideboard and playing a more improved less basic land heavy mana base would take this from a dream to even more of a dream i guess but anyway that's chaotic transformation that's been our beam or dream for this week the deck's pretty sweet if you're looking for for something spicy and different in standard give it a try thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon